What up guys? Today we'll be taking a nice look at some advanced rotoscoping to make your life a little bit easier and not a pain. Like if you had to, we want someone to go behind this big huge statue and it's, we got some decent camera shake in there. So if you wanted to get this exact for, it's pretty comp complex little thing with, uh, I don't know, you could see the, oh no, it was on the other side, they had a, like a baby and they had like cigarettes in its mouth. It was very disturbing, I must say. But yeah, so we'll take a look at an easier way to rotoscope this shot. This won't work for every shot, but if it does, it'll save you some time and pain. So, all right, we're gonna be doing some reverse, um, you know, motion tracking. So we will do that. So we're gonna have to stabilize this statue. So we'll click on our footage, go to stabilize, and we need rotation. And then we'll just make our points go over. Oh, make our points a little bigger. Just move them out a little bit bigger. I just like making them bigger so I know where I'm gonna put them. And I guess right there we'll do. The smaller you make it, the faster it will track. And, uh, ch -ch -ch. but you know, if you need to make them bigger, do that. And we'll try this spot. Make it a little smaller, just because I don't feel like waiting forever for this to track. Make sure you're at the beginning of the timeline and just hit the analyze forward button. Analyzing, analyzing. Okay, yeah, I don't know what to do during that. I should pause the recording, but it didn't look like it was going to take that long. All right, here we go. It looks good, so we'll apply it. X and Y, of course. And now it is it's doing some warping at the beginning, but hopefully it's it's pretty still. It doesn't really matter if the background's warping or anything. It's uh, It should do. Um, okay, so I'm just going to close this, and now we have to pre-compose it, so Command-Shift-C, or Layer Pre-Compose, and move all attributes, then double-click on it to open it up, and just drag it up and make some room, and bring this to the bottom, to this little panel, bring it up a little more. Alright, the one with that's not pre-composed like that is the one that has all our tracking data in it. And we'll we will be putting our well, our mask for this. So we'll uh, hit P, then Shift A, and then Shift R to get all those. And then the same for the pre comp layer. So now we're gonna Alt click on our anchor point and take the little thingy and go to the position. Since they're opposites, then position Alt click, go to the anchor point, then rotation go to rotation and then type in times negative one so it's like there's a you know one of the little spinning wheels you have on one of the effects it spins it backwards basically so yeah math awesome now that's done you can drag it back to the top bring it down I just like moving it over to the right side so it's there just the way I work all right so now we're gonna make something well, as you can see, they're back in the main comp. You're going to have everything in. It still wiggles around. It's because the layer is not big enough. So you just hit Command K or Composition, Comp Settings. And then I just drag it up to like, yeah, that works. And then you can see it has room to wiggle around. If your layer moves a lot more, then you're going to have to make that a little bit bigger. But just make it as big as you need. That should do. All right. So now we're not going to be really making a mask. It's going to be a track mat, but same concept. So um, we'll add a layer, new, solid, white layer, comp size, why not? Okay, I'm just going to turn it off, make sure it's still selected though. And I'm going to just H for the hand tool, move it to the top. I'm just going to be using G and H for the pen and hand tool. So start up here. You can see you can get nice and complex if you want you only gotta really do this once hopefully that's the whole point of it 
you can get all the nice little details. I really hate rotoscoping. My cousin makes me do enough of this for his film projects. And I just curse his name every time I'm doing stuff like this. I'm like, damn you. But not the point. I'm not going to waste a lot of your time. But just saying, you can get some nice detail and you can always refine it later so I wish I had some some jokes to tell you but I'm working so get over it alright yeah we don't really need that part so almost done why am I still doing this kind of accurate? I don't know. Alright, 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 I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, that's that looks fine. Yeah, why not? Who cares? I don't care. Alright. End it. Alright, there we go. Awesome. So you can see you get some nice complex things. You can always hit V, go back and fine tune it right there okay so you turn it back on you can see you got a nice white shape and basically what we're doing is just we're making it stable enough so we don't have to animate it as much we still gotta animate this mask if you can turn the layer off and go hit M and then make a little keyframe for the path and you can just go through like it's warps right there and you're like it's not bad so you can just go here and then just double click on your mask where it's black double click and then just position it back and just go through you don't even have to really adjust your match uh, each point unless you like need to this will be this should do at least for this shot it does work fine just moving it and just yeah like this is doing pretty good and we'll just hit F and give it like a 5 pixel feather. So now if we go back to our other comp, you can see it's there. Oh, we didn't turn the layer back on. It's there, but it's, well, one piece of footage. So we need to make it, well, here, we'll just, so the mask moves, animates with it. We just go to, um, actually, that's too much. Let's just do like two. Yeah. So we can just turn off our layer. That's pretty much just our guide layer. And if you really don't want it to show up and keep it on, you just go guide layer and you can actually keep it on. And when you go back, it won't show up. So now we gotta drag our footage back in. And now we gotta make a track mat. So just go to the switches until you go track mat and do luma mat. Now you can see it's just the statue we have. And it's moving with it awesomely. And you could pre-compose these two if you want. I'll do it just to, why not, so it's one layer, and then you gotta drag the footage in back one more time. And now if you make, uh, let's just make up something real quick, uh, shape layer, yeah, and just, cha -cha -cha. maybe some frack noise up in y'all, yeah, maybe some contrast, a little that, too much, maybe we get some expressions up in here time times I don't know a hundred and we had a we had another effect that could be cool and uh, maybe some I don't know rear blur and zoom and some amounts to that and maybe some uh, hue and <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing honestly Ooh, yeah, blue. That's that's a color. I'm go to. Oh, where I go? What I do? What I do? But any any hoozle, you can just make a position keyframe. Go to the end, make another one, which is the point of this, and then just drop it behind the layer and your pre-composed layer, or if they're still both there, whatever. And now it goes shot it's tracked in it's moving behind it and we really we hardly did any work you can see it's not going over at all we might see let's see right there right there we have we have a little problem right there so we can just go back to our comp here and we'll be like oh yeah there's a little problem 
go in here, go back to our masks path and just move the whole thing or just individual points. Just gonna move everything. When we go back, we're like, yeah, okay, wait, still not looking good. Good thing like the cursor will stay with it wherever it goes, so that's handy. So I'll just move these points up a little bit. And bring that down to one and let's see how that looks. Worse, what am I doing here? Can I Ah, there we go. Just turn off the layer that way you can see it. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't really being exact there. If you go through it one time perfectly, then then this should actually work nice. But you know, I'm lazy. What did that do? Oh, yeah, turned off the. There we go. So yeah, now that's looking all right. And yeah, just obviously take your time and then make it look good. And you can save some hassle on your next rotoscoping job that your cousin makes you do, cause you know, whatever. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I wanted to show you. So I will talk to you later, and peace.